hey, this is a state uh, a quarantine. All businesses are to close. How would you be feeling right now? Um, panicked, maybe um, you just, just kind of, uh, you know, like what next, you know what I mean? All right, well, many of saw in my first episode, which is real estate versus insurance, retired sheriff of 19 years of the Millbrae County in the in the Yay area. We got Danny Singson back here for part two of the video. Danny, welcome back to this episode. What's up, Matt? Pleasure to be on. Man, I just, uh, it's crazy how part two, it's gonna be a similar message, but in different times, right? But nothing has changed on my end, so. Oh, well, I think we're proving those times that uh, you are considered now by your governor an essential business. Yes. Uh, you know what? Let, let me touch on that real quick. Yeah. Um, governor uh, Gavin Newsom announced, you know, just to reiterate, hey, this is a state uh, a quarantine and only essential. All businesses are to close except for essential businesses. And so since we're governed by the Department of Finance and Insurance, our uh, insurance commissioner literally put out uh, uh, a notice statewide as well, defining what other, yes, yes, what other financial institutions, financial institutions actually means, and we are considered an essential business for the U.S. economy. So oh. that's so awesome. And that, that feels awesome. So in other words, what you're saying, Danny, there's no realtors, even if they could, there's no realtors doing open houses right now and showing property and, and getting deals done with what, if you're a realtor right now, in your, your former life, how would you be feeling right now? Man, I would honestly be, um, I'd be pretty panicked. Um, panicked, maybe um, you just just kind of, uh, you know, like what next, you know what I mean? Um, but here's the thing, most realtors here in the, uh, the Bay Area, San Francisco Bay Area, where we, I, I understand that we live in a bubble, right? Where a million dollar home is uh, a fixer, you know, here, right? Um, however, you know, most realtors out here in the Bay Area, they're averaging one to three sales per year. So, and you know, I, I understand, I understand the, the, the mindset of success where you have to attract clients through, you know, the, maybe even the perception of busyness or success. And you know, these days, and people aren't dumb, you know, they can literally just Google your name followed by MLS or Zillow or whatever, and they can see your transactions or lack thereof. So we live in a transparent world right now, Matt, and uh, it, it's hard. It's hard to say, hey, I'm super busy when you're in real estate right now, meaning real estate sales. Also, mortgages, even though mortgages are down on as far as interest rates and whatnot, people are climbing out of escrow. Um, you know, buyers are affected as well. Even if they want to buy a house, all the inventory is erasing off, um, just basically drop it out of the, the, the marketplace because nobody, and I mean nobody, no seller wants people to come into their house at this current time when we have an order, a state mandate that says, hey, you need to have a, a social distancing, you need to have you know, quarantine, you need to be staying home unless you're buying food or you're doing some essential business. You know, so we're very, very proud. I'm so happy to be not only in business with you, but, all, but also in our industry, we are, absolutely given the green light by U.S. government all the way on up to the president. So what, what a world to, to be in right now. So, so Danny, what you're saying is as an insurance professional, you tell me your business is booming right now, like you're more busy now than ever? Yeah, uh, Matt, it is Saturday at 3.40 p.m. And uh, I've been I've been running and gunning since uh, 8.30 a.m. this morning. You know, to be honest, I haven't even eaten yet. I have literally a jug of water that I haven't even finished yet, so I'm a little dehydrated. Uh, and I will tell you, you know, it's booming. And I'm not knocking. I don't come from a condescending or disparaging tone. Because when I'm if I'm talking to anyone out there who's in real estate with the license or, you know, the default thing is, I'm going to do something on the side and let me get my real estate license. That seems like such a knee-jerk default thing to add value to income. Times have changed. Times have changed. My broker, former broker, he's a great friend of mine, Matt. Um, he owns a Remax Investments. His name is Donald Cum. I'm going to shout out a great friend of mine. In fact, he's in business with me. He yeah. right now is scrambling to to, to take his exam, uh, you know, in, in the insurance industry because number one, number one, he's he knows he's leaving money on the table. Yep. Yep. And number two is. He's ramping, he's ramping down as well because he has, he has to vacate his office, yeah. you know? So 
quite honestly, things have changed. And I think that, and I'm not talking disparagingly to anyone in real estate. However, you have to adapt, overcome, and you know, you really have to see how being the business of money, you could talk about real estate, but you can also be very versatile and you can choose. I, I chose, I just chose that. I like to eat more often than most people when it comes to earning income, Matt. You know, I can't live my life from escrow to escrow. And if you have an escrow right now, I pray for you. <laughs>